Joe Hunt, plant manager, original manufacturing. Um, watch the uh, production numbers, uh, try to get the resources available for associates on the floor, um, and keep, just keep track of the logistics and then day-to-day -day operations. Greg Tinder, quality manager, original manufacturing, I oversee maintenance and quality. I just weld schedules and keep the welders running. I've uh, been with the company going on 19 years. We're a supplier to Eagle Wings, our parent company, and Rand Tool. But our customer base is Mitsubishi, Honda, and uh, Toyota. Uh, we make manufacture steel stampings and do nut and stud weld. Our coil average is anywhere between 100 to 400 millimeters wide. Uh, we go anywhere from 0 0.7 millimeters thick to 3.3 millimeters thick. We have galvanized, non galvanized. Our groups that we do for Toyota is basically instrument panels. Um, for Honda and for Mitsubishi, it's pretty much body structural parts um, inside the doors, inside the instrument panels. Um, a lot of our components go up to Eagle Wings, our parent company, and get made into larger compon components that do the side members, which is the old frame and so forth. One of the largest challenges that I see is trying to make good parts at a competitive price. Um, keep your costs down so you can get the parts cheaper at the customer. Well, the new Chevy Press, being a 330 ton compared to our I-8 at 250 ton, now allows us to one use larger tools. Uh, we also, uh, the, the strokes per minute on it, about 60, 61, 62, compared to 33, 34, 35 on our older 250 ton press. We're running a blank out of there now that we're running at 61 strokes a minute compared to running it before at 33. So our uh, productivity on, on that tooling is a lot better, I mean much better. And with the co-feeder, um, it's easier on our associates because all they have to do is break the band and the rest of it's all automatic, they can do it with buttons. So it's a little easier, a little safer, which we have uh, three goals here at Richland and that's safety is number one, safety for our associates, and then quality is number two. And we believe if we perform those well, production will come. Mm -hmm very easily. So the, the strokes per minute and the size bolster and the size of the equipment is not only gives us to run some of the jobs we currently have that were stretching the ability of our 250 ton press, but now it's going to let us to actually reach out and get some larger parts and, and uh, do some different things I hope. It's a new up-to-date um, smart pack system. I mean it's an intelligent press. I mean, we can tell exactly when we want, want it to oil. We can tell exactly when we want the conveyors to kick on and kick off. So the operator, he's not reaching over, turning the conveyor on, and trying to catch this and catch that. You know, it's a lot more automatic, it is, it's great. Yeah, we looked at a lot of different presses. The Shahi, we knew we wanted a tie rod press. Uh, some of the manufacturers, to, uh, Shahi's price was the price everybody was chasing. You know, I mean, they're very aggressively priced and very competitive. And, um, but unfortunately, some of the press manufacturers to get anywhere close to their price had to go with like a unitized frame and we really wanted the tie rod press where we had the same size slide dimensions as a bolster. And basically, I mean, for, the, for our application, it fit all of our needs and it was, like I said, very, very reasonably priced compared to the other people. Our other two presses in this facility are 200 or 250 or, or gap frame. You know, we have a lot of two out front and back um, parts that it is very difficult to hold. And some of them are the, the same part number, just a two out. So it's very difficult to hold the exact same dimensions on front and back on a gap frame where you've got that, that flex in the frame. So that's why we wanted to go to a four post tie rod press where we could maintain um, that relationship and improve the quality of the parts. Um, as far as off-center loading, I mean, we do have some kind of irregular shaped parts where we might have a little bit more um, draw or a little bit more tonnage on one side of the strip than the other, and that's always a, you know, a concern when you're running it. And this press, I think, is with the four-post tie rods and the giving and everything, I think we're, we're pretty well set for what might come down the road. We've had some problems in the past with our current uh, press manufacturers getting the service out of them that, that we needed. And, uh, uh, I just felt like it, it was an opportunity to get somebody else in here that really seemed willing to, to go the extra mile and, and you know, 
really service us the way we need to be serviced. Um, some of the larger companies, in my opinion, seem to be kind of arrogant and not very responsive to our needs. So Shady seemed like a good fit. For Richland Manufacturing to say yes to Shady Press, it was all about productivity. We've taken our current tooling and now run at twice the speed we were before. So, yes to Shady.